So I have everything all set up and ready to go. So I have my cutting board and I have it on a towel because you never want your um, cutting board to be moving away because you could cut yourself and you definitely don't want that. So there's two different ways um, that you can make this water. So one of them is you can just slice cucumber, lemon, a lime, and some fresh mint, which I, I have right here. So that's the one I'm gonna be doing today for you. But there are variations that you can do. So in other words, if you wanted like a, if you wanted to add like ginger ale to it, you could, or any kind of flavored seltzer you could. Like we've done it before with the LaCroix, um, this one's the peach and the pear, I think. Yep, yeah, peach and pear. So we've used those ones before. Or if you want the adult version, you could throw some white claw in there. Um, that's raspberry. So you could do that. You could add some sherbet in it if you wanted to make it like for a lighter punch. Um, like I said, you could use the alcoholic version if you wanted to as well. <coughs> Excuse me, some people like to do that. But for today, I'm just going to be um, just doing it for just like for some fresh water with the lemon, the lime, the cucumber, and the mint. It just makes the water super refreshing. It's very good and healthy for you, and we really like it a lot. And I use this pitcher that I have, and it is plastic, so if we ever wanted to bring it outside with us, we can. And I just filled it with some ice, and I'm going to leave that right over there. And then I'm just going to cut how much I want. Um, to put in my pitcher and then the rest I'll just put in a sandwich bag and I'll put it back in the fridge and I'll use it for when this one's done we'll make another one so the first thing you want to do with your lemon is just kind of roll it like this just kind of looses loosens all the juices and you take a really good knife make sure you don't cut yourself and you just cut a few slices off and I do I think in this one, I'm actually going to do the whole lemon, just because we really like it. Um, you don't have to use the whole lemon, you can just use however much you want. And then the last part of it, I'll just kind of cut around the end and do that. And then just carefully check and see if there's any seeds. If there are, I just kind of remove them off to the side, because I'm going to wash this towel later anyway. And that's all good. This one just has one little one. And another little one. And I don't think I'm going to use that part. So these are all the parts of the lemon I'm going to use. So you can go ahead and just kind of pop them in on top of your water. Actually, on top of your ice cubes, the water is not in there yet. So we'll get that in there. Then take your lime and same thing, kind of loosen all the juices. And then you just cut as many slices as you would like. The limes I seem to cut a little bit thicker um, just because the limes are smaller and I just kind of cut cut, uh, cut the tail end of it off and then you just put these in your water <coughs> and then you just cut some cucumber and with the cucumber just do as much as you want. Um, Scott really likes the cucumber in it and I kind of do too um, so I tend to kind of fill it a little bit and I make the slices a little bit thicker on that as well. This one's kind of big. And then you pop all those in your water. Then you take a few sprigs of your mint and you just <clears throat> remove the stems. You cut those in as well. And you can use bottled water, like I said, you can use the seltzers. I'm just gonna use regular sink water. The town in which we live in has purified water and we have a purifier. Um, so let me just fill that up, I'll be right back. <coughs> and just kind of fill it up to the top. Okay, it's all full. And then what I do is I take the knife and I just kind of go in it ever so gently. Just kind of loosen all the ice and everything in there. You can also go in the drawer and grab a spoon. And then you just kind of go in, move everything around now that the ice is all loosened. And just kind of make sure all the, you want everything to kind of go down to the bottom if you can too, because you want everything to really absorb all the flavors of the cucumber, the lemon, the lime, and the mint. 
Then if you need to put a little bit more water on top, you can. And that looks pretty good. And you can always put a little bit. I usually do this. I just take a little bit more of a sprig of mint and I just kind of put it on the top like that. And then here's a picture of it. And that's what it looks like. And it just looks so refreshing, so healthy. And I am going to put that um, in the fridge. I'm going to leave it there for a couple hours anyway. And then you just serve it in your glass. You can also, if you wanted to, take the little bit of lemon or lime or whatever you happen to have left. You just fill your glass with ice, put another cucumber or two in it, and then just um, put it all in there. But there you have it. And um, let me know if you make it, if you like it, what your variations are. You know, you could throw fruit in here too. You could do like strawberries and blueberries, raspberries, whatever you would like. And it's just a nice, healthy, refreshing water. So if you go to the fridge, you just grab something that's really good for you and very refreshing. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy your drink. If you, cho if you choose to do the White Claw or something like that, that in there, I'd love to know what recipe you tried and if it worked out for you, I'd love to know. So please remember to be kind to one another and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.